Yes, I suppose I must. That is because I suffer my torments in good conscience. These others, they're here for different reasons. Some are held here by pain, others by anger or regret. I created the Guardian, you see. Yes, me, a silly fat dwarf. I created him, later tried to destroy him, and I would do it all again. I make no apologies. Indeed, the fault is mine. If it makes you feel any better, I have been trapped in this foul undeath for more centuries than I dare to count. And I will likely remain here for many more. It's not a pleasant fate, but I would gladly endure my torments a hundredfold before I took back the decisions I made. I understand your anger, and I am sorry for your loss. But I do not regret what I did, nor would I ever. A great man, a patriot. Can you imagine such a sacrifice? He didn't simply give up his life. He offered up his very self for his people. The consequences. Thousands of innocent people protected from the wrath of Netheril, an enclave of culture and tolerance preserved against a canvas of hate and war. No, I do not regret the consequences. The Guardian saved my people. A man can act for good purpose or for ill, but he cannot predict every consequence. Walk down one street instead of another, and you might doom someone to die. But you are a fool if you blame yourself for this. The Guardian was conceived with noble purpose. I foresaw no evil in his birth. My conscience is clear. After his corruption, yes, we tried twice to destroy him. Well, I'm told they tried again afterward, but by then, I was dead. First, we sent the Silken Sisters against him. Silly and foolish, those elf girls, but brave too. I warned them not to strike the Guardian. I counseled our leaders to withdraw, to pull all our folk from the heartland, and to regroup, to make a plan. The sisters were destroyed. Then our leaders turned to me, and I devised the ritual, the very ritual of purification which you seek to complete. We failed. The ritual functioned as expected, but there was dissent amongst us. Some of the wizards, old friends of his, refused to strike. They tried to reason with the Guardian instead. As friends, and arrogant ones at that, they believed that their counsel could change him where the power of Ilfarn could not. How could they expect not to? He had been their friend. Surely he would remember them, listen to them. Their minds understood the power of the ritual, but their hearts did not. Nothing more than could be expected. The Guardian was no longer a man, no matter what his friends believed. We were divided, and the Guardian slew us, drained our lives, everyone. And with us perished the might of Ilfarn. Aha, then you seek to combat the Guardian. Of course I will help you. Lead on, and I will follow.
smell you, plunderer. I can taste your steel and hear the rustle of the hundreds you've slain, swirling and fading in your wake. Names? You won't find names in this place, plunderer. Only questions. He's drained us all of names just like we took his. Yes, our guardian. I wonder, have you asked yourself the question yet? Have you seen past the ramblings of priests, past the sobs and sighs of broken minds, and spied the real conundrum? Yes. Think of him. The perfect protector. They stripped him of his name so he had no pride. They stripped him of his self so he had no ambition. His purpose was as pure as it was simple. To protect his nation and destroy its enemies. He wasn't flawed, he was perfect. Yet still, he was our doom. No. That isn't the reason at all. The Guardian turned to the Shadow Weave to further his purpose. Only to keep himself alive that he might protect his nation. There's a dirty little secret. One the others won't tell you. We struck first. We never bothered to learn the Guardian's intentions. Think of it from his perspective. He is the Guardian, the prime defender of his nation. Then he is attacked by Ilfarn soldiers and wizards. No one is more devoted to Ilfarn than he. Therefore, his attackers must be enemies, even if they do wear Ilfarn's colors. Who can say? The blood-drunk elf girl swooped in before we could ask, before we could think. Yes, the Guardian's nature had changed, but what did that mean? What did he want? Revenge? Did he want his life back? Did he simply want to feed? We didn't even try to find out. As for me, I don't think his motives had changed at all. Nor have they ever. Perhaps. Or, lacking an Ilfarn to defend, he is simply trying to destroy her enemies, wherever he perceives them to be. Or perhaps it is merely the ramblings of a shattered and nameless mind. Make of it what you will. For my part, I will follow you and say no more. In ancient times, the Guardian was created to protect the Ilfarn. If the time has come to dismantle our great instrument, you will be an agent of its destruction. Take this blessing of communion. May its soothing light comfort you on your travels. The fourth part of the ritual is complete. Focus your will upon the statue. No, 
that though the King of Shadows may wound you countless times, you have the power to undo the damage he does to you, or to others. <laughs>